This is the time of the year when my hens are really laying. I only have five hens, but often they're laying five eggs a day. And there's only three of us at home. So we're getting more eggs in than we are eating. So I'm giving some to the kids and some to people at work, but I tried to make more egg heavy recipes. On Sunday, I made the breakfast casserole, which took six eggs. And of course we're having omelets and boiled eggs and other things. But today I thought I'd make some bread pudding. You know, that is really honest to goodness comfort food. Now it only uses four eggs, but that's four eggs that's not in my refrigerator. So let's make some bread pudding. Now, of course, you've got to start with bread. This is a loaf of Pepperidge Farm cinnamon bread. I would have loved to use the cinnamon bread with raisins, but my family just doesn't like raisins in the dessert, nor nuts. So if you like it, be sure to add it. And you need to use two tablespoons of melted butter. And we're just going to just pour this on top. There it goes. And while we're doing this, we want to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So put that out of the way. Now we want to add two cups. You can use milk, half and half, or in this case, I'm making it even richer. I'm using heavy whipping cream. But you need two cups. And we're going to use our four eggs. One egg, two eggs, come on, drop out, three eggs, okay, we've got four eggs in there. Now we want to put in three-fourths a cup sugar, this is a half a cup. This is a fourth of a cup. We want a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. I said a half a teaspoon, a full teaspoon of cinnamon. What am I saying? And then we want a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's go. And that's all there is to it. Now we're going to beat it up real well in the mixer and I'll be back. Now we just want to take our beaten mixture and we're going to pour that over the top. It's our custard, so to speak. Try to get it all in there. Now you're, you're supposed to be using an 8 inch by 8 inch pan. But I didn't have one, so this is slightly bigger. So hopefully it'll work out okay. All out. Now we want to use a fork to kind of push this into the liquid here. I want the bread to absorb that. There it's going. This looked like a pretty good size pan for it, even though it wasn't an 8x8 eight eight square. Now that's all there is to it. We're going to put it in the oven for oh, 45 minutes to an hour. And about 15 minutes before it's done, we'll start making the sauce to pour over the top. Now it's time to make the sauce. We want one and a quarter cup. Whole milk. And yay, we get to use another egg. We need a half a cup of brown sugar. Two tablespoons melted butter. 
tablespoon flour. And we want a pinch of salt and a pinch of cinnamon. We're going to also need a tablespoon of vanilla extract, but we're going to add that at the very end. So let's get warming this up. So we're mixing this together and we're going to heat it up for about 10, 12 minutes until it gets to the right consistency. And I'll be back then. Okay, so we've thickened our sauce. Now we just have to wait a minute until the bread pudding is done. Look at that nice crisp crust. Hmm? Now it's time to do our taste test. Time for my taste test. Get a little whipped cream, a little sauce. Mm. A little crispy on the outside. Melt in your mouth on the inside, the custard part. It's definitely good. And it'll make a great dessert for my family and for yours. So, this is how to make a quick bread pudding. Making the sauce actually takes longer than making the pudding. This is Prepper Potpourri saying please subscribe, share the knowledge, and thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you. Mm.